Hey you guys, Jared Bingle here with Lawn Rescue. I want to thank you for coming back for another video. Go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe. Today I've got a special video for you guys. We're out here in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina with my beautiful fiance, Lauren. Hi. We're also going to be going over Husqvarna's hedge trimmer. Finally got it right. <laughs> so stick around you guys. Just a reminder for you guys, this unit was put on back order for about three months because of all the supply chain issues we've been seeing. Everything that you're going to need is in the box. You've got your multi-tool right here with the little screws for to put on your two handles, your owner's manual and your install guide, and then also your hedge trimmer. We've already made one mistake. This is not actually a handle. If you look in the owner's manual, this is actually going to sit up underneath the engine. The first item to be installed is going to be the actual handle, and this is going to go right here and allow you to oscillate the head. Installation is very easy. We'll just put it in place and then put our screws in. How you operate the head is you take this piece right here and you pull it down and that'll release the head and then you can start moving it and then let it go and it'll lock in place. Next order of business is going to be the impact guard and we're going to put this on with three bolts on the bottom of the gas tank and this is going to pr help protect any impacts to the gas tank and to the motor and kind of give it a little bit of a, a springy cushion. Installation for this is going to be very easy. You've got three bolts that go right there. You'll put this in place and then you'll put in your bolts. You can't mess this up. Well I'm sure somebody's going to mess it up somehow some way but it's it's pretty much foolproof. Don't be that guy. Once we've got our three bolts in, we're just gonna snug them hand tight and we'll be done. I found an issue. This hedge trimmer is not gonna fit on the weed eater rack that I have from trailerracks.com, but I do think that they have another rack that I can put on the trailer that will actually fit this. Now for me, this is not a huge issue because I don't do a whole lot of hedge trimming anyways. And also my rack is full with the two weed eaters and the edger that I put in last video. So what I'll do is I'll just end up having to put this in the truck bed when I go to do hedge trimming jobs. One other thing that I did take note of is that this impact guard helps protect the trigger from being depressed when you set it down on the ground. If this is not on it, it doesn't raise the engine up and you'll actually depress the trigger whenever you set it on the ground. There is something to be said about the weight of this unit. It is a good bit heavier than some of your weed eaters and some of your battery packed hedge trimmers, but it's not too bad and it's not gonna wear you out over the course of a few hours. Once you've got everything installed on this, you can throw some mixed gas in it and start cutting.
And there you have it, Husqvarna's commercial oscillating head hedge trimmer. Got it right. If you have this thing, let me know if you like it. Put down in the comments down below what you like and dislike about it. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn on the notifications, and I'll see you in the next video.